Good evening everybody. My name is Crystal. Uh, good evening. This is going to be a, a short video. I'm not going to do a really long one. I want to wish everybody a good night and everybody that's getting awake when the British go to bed. Good morning. Um, Alexa, what's the time in Great Britain? In Great Britain, it's 7.30pm. So it's 7.30 p.m. I've managed to take Max, my dog, out for a walk. Um, as you can ma imagine, I'm feeling a bit low because my cat, Harry, has disappeared. And some people cry. It's like, you know, like losing a human being. So, you know, I don't need this crap that keeps repeating itself. Do you know what I mean? So basically, I take Max out for a walk about 10 to 7. Not, not every, not all the time. It's, it's, it's different times, so about 10 to 7. And, I'm, you know, my mood's a bit low. I haven't been to see my mum today, so there's no, no video footage of being around my mum. There's no takeaway, which is a, which is a good thing. Because I have high high cholesterol, and I don't want to eat takeaways. So, in the minds of people that you you know, they think it's funny to upset you, and they think they they want you to be the person that you were, and I'm not that person anymore. I've also got a savage heartburn since I ate some shortbread from the co-op yesterday. It's terrible. And um, so basically I took Max out at, at, at just after 10 to 7 and it was all dark in the hallway. The lights were off. So I went down the stairs and I went out the front of the building and I walked down the bottom. And I just walk slowly. I am not going into the road to avoid people because I don't want to get run over. And I'm not afraid. I'm not. I'm just standing there and, and taking it really slowly and really easy. And I'm not getting cross. Whatever happens. Um. So I just walked along very slowly. Max doing his business. His number ones. His number twos. And, and just, um, you, you know, I will not be controlled or manipulated. So when I feel like I'm going to heat up and get angry, I distract myself from it. And it's difficult when you don't feel well. So these people will play on you when you, when you feel awful. When you're in pain, they will use that pain against you. They, they will make it worse. They will do things that make the pain worse. I suffered for many years with pain in my teeth and jaw. And I had to find a way to cope with the pain myself because the doctors that I've had have done nothing to help me. The dentists have done nothing to really help. You find your own way of coping, everybody does. Obviously, if you get a serious illness or you need an operation, you're going to need people's help. But I'm, I'm telling you now, I don't think I've seen a real doctor in my life. A real doctor. These made up bloody fake names, they're obviously some kind of actor in a white coat that's what i think what if i did have something serious wrong and they just left it for years because they're mickey mouse in a doctor's jacket they probably would give a fuck anyway to be fair the cruelty that they've inflicted on me and others is just unbelievable just through selfishness and greed. 
so I just walked around the um, around the block I'm not walking on the field my mother this evening reminded me it's going to be bonfire night soon and Halloween so I'm not walking on the field in the dark uh, on those times and I said to my mum, I said, you know, I'll try and come up and see you next week, mum. And she said to me, be very careful, Janestra. She said, um, it's Halloween next week. Like trick or treat is outside. I've gone outside, I think, most uh, the year before and the year before last and they're all dressed up in the Halloween costumes with their lights and everything. Um, there are some nasty people out there and you've got to be careful. Um, so I just walked around the block and I haven't been around my mum's today so there's obviously no takeaway. And that, that's good because it, too much stodge can be really bad for your health. It can make you really unwell. Have you heard about McDonald's? Like a breakout of E. coli. So I certainly don't want any takeaways right now. Um, so I just walked around the block and there's people slamming their their boot shut you know ramming the boot down hard and I thought well I'm happy I, I'm so bloated I don't want to eat anything else I don't want any more food I've, I've got enough money in the bank to support myself um, if I wanted to take away I could buy one and I don't I've got some parcels coming tomorrow and I told you I'm going to change my look and I won't be wearing trousers I'm going to try and wear skirts because I'm a female so I'm going to change my look and you know if, if there's men out there that want to be me and they want to wear skirts and tights and bras and, and tops, that's up to them. But I'm a woman. So I came back, when I went out of the flat, I almost fainted. There's that horrible smell again. A horrible stench downstairs in the communal area. And then my eyes are watering again. And it felt like, you see, they think it's a joke. They think it's funny. They go through your YouTube and they find out what you don't like, what upsets you, and they keep repeating it. And it's dangerous. I don't drive, right? But I have said, and it probably upsets other people in the building as well, makes their eyes water, and there's children in the building. Are they covering up drug smell? Again, that horrible smell downstairs, and I go out of the building and I feel all dizzy, like I'm going to fall over. It's a horrible smell. Max starts being silly. He starts rubbing himself all over the floor. It's a stink. So when I went out of the building, there was this horrible smell, and I think it's being sprayed to hide up cannabis smell. And I was wandering around with my eyes watering, I couldn't bl bloody see, and I was giddy. When I come back, in, back into the building, there's a car outside the block of flats with its flashing lights. So it's got its indicator lights on, this silver car. It's got its indicator lights on and it's flashing in my fucking eyes. I'm dizzy with the smell. My eyes are watering and someone has had a takeaway. Do you know that you can, you obviously can smell it, can't you? It's like walking into fucking McDonald's. I, I press the buzzer to get into my building with the key and you can smell 
now you've got fucking weed perfume and takeaway smell going up your nose. So somebody's sniffing the weed, spraying themselves with perfume and stuffing themselves with McDonald's by the smell of it. Wow! I struggled to get up the stairs. I thought I was going to fall down. And I'm not an old lady, but my God. Um, tomorrow I was due to go to the dentist, you know, Ashley Lupin's dentist in um, Chatham. And I've changed the appointment. I've changed it because there's no way I could have got up. To go get an appointment for nine o'clock this morning when there's noise and the stench and obviously going to keep me awake. I don't know if you can see my eyes are watering. It looks like I'm crying. They are spraying perfume to cover up their drug use. Whoever it is. But it doesn't quite work because you still get the high feeling. Um, so basically I'm in my flat, I feel like I'm burning hot and sweating, I know I've got my jacket on, um, I've, I've obviously come back from walking max, um, no wonder, what can you do, nothing, you can't do anything, so I'm not going anywhere tomorrow, I'm not going to the dentist that's for sure and I've got some things coming under the name of Crystal because that's my name. I know my mum keeps saying Janestra but my name is Crystal and the parcels are addressed to Crystal which is me. Um, I've got food in the fridge, you've seen, you've seen the Sainsbury's delivery. So they stuff food in, in front of you, they give you everything you don't like. My mum said she couldn't see this morning, so they flash their indicator lights in my face and spray the place with stinky, vile perfume. So my mum said she couldn't see this morning. And the silver car probably looks like Charlotte's and Stuart's and nobody takes me out to get my shopping in a car. No, I get a home delivery or I go to the co-op which is two minutes up the road. There is no co-op on the end of my mother's road. So we still have no hurry. And... Um, Hey ho! Um, well, hopefully in the next coming weeks I'll show you my new look. Uh, skirts, tights, and I can't wait for my boots. And I'm telling you now, if they get mucked about with, they'll get sent back. See you later.